Hey guys, this is a quick video showing you how to fix the Play Store error when you have no connection, even though you have signal. Okay, firstly, a basic fix which works for quite a lot of things is you just go and swipe down and go into your date and time settings. If it's on automatic, try changing it to manual and make sure you have the right date and time. Then go back into your Play Store and retry. As you can see, that's not working for me. So, I will continue to the next fix. The next fix is to go into your settings, then more, application manager, and then go to all. Okay, now you want to scroll down and find Google Play. And there's Google Play. Now you want to go into the Google Play. You want to clear all its data, uninstall all the updates, let it uninstall. This may take some time. There we go. And then you want to force stop it. Now, after all of that is done, try and open the app. As you can see, this would fix it for most people, a high majority of you, but for me it's still not working. So now the next thing to do after clearing all the data is you will have to have a rooted phone. And then you need to download an app called Root Browser. And then with Root Browser we open it up, we scroll down to System. Then we want to go to ETC and scroll down to a file called hosts. And you want to open it up with a text editor. As you can see here, it says localhost. We want to leave that line and all the line that says android.clients.google.com. We want to add a hashtag in front of. We want to do that for all the lines. In order to reproduce this, I just removed it for all of mine. Normally it's just one, the last one, or, or the second, the one underneath local hosts. That is the problem. So once you put that, that hashtag in front of all of the addresses, you want to just click save and let it save. There we go. It's now saved. The and then go back into Google Play. And as you can see, it doesn't say no connection straight away. It's just that I've got a bad signal where I am. And then we'll just let that load up and show you that's how you fix no connection error in the Google Play Store. There we go. Click accept. And it takes some time to load because it is loading up for the first time it's got no cache that's unfortunate <laughs> but I promise you this fix works just bad signal I'll just start searching something in the meanwhile Sometimes you need to just end the process of the app and then go back in after you have modified the host files. What I think it's doing is actually updating Google Play after and installing the updates and that's why it's taking quite a while. There we go. Now as you can see it's it's all loaded. I can search for 
something. And Google Play is now working. It took me over a week to find this fix. Um, but luckily, it works, so enjoy.